Hi everyone, we're going to determine whether each series is convergent or divergent and we can use any method we want. We can use the comparison test or the ratio test or any other means we need to determine whether it's convergent or divergent. So for the first one, we have it's, um, let's see, we need to, let's look and see if we can find an R. And what we can do is take our one term here and divide it by the previous term. So I'm going to divide this out, which is the same as negative 3 eighths times um, 2 over 1, which is negative 6 over 8, which equals negative uh, 2 thirds, or 3 fourths, sorry. Since the absolute value of negative 3 fourths is less than 1, this is convergent. So I just took the next term divided by the nth term. You could have uh, you could have also checked this one and, and taken this term and divided it by that. And if that if this is your r, your ratio, and if the absolute value of ratio is less than one, then it's convergent. Okay, on this one, we have. Um, I'm going to look at the general term. The general term here is, or I would just write down the nth term, would be 2n plus 1 over 2n minus 1. So, basically, I'm going to go ahead and just use the comparison test, and we just I just did a video on that one, and you're going to compare it to 1 over n. And basically, if you put in any numbers in here, you'll notice that this one is greater than or equal to 1 over n for all of n. And if it's greater than 1 over n, then that means it's divergent. Okay, the next one we have is this one. So I look at the general term the general term is going to be 1 over 5 plus n squared. This would be a sub 1, a sub 2, and a sub 3, and the 3's match here, 2's match. So that's how I got that formula. I'm going to go ahead and still do the comparison test, 1 over 5 plus n squared, and compare it to 1 over n. If I plug in any numbers, this uh, side, the left side, is going to be always less than or equal to 1 over n for all n. Therefore, uh, the series is divergent. Okay, I'm um, going to do the, this one. The general term is 1 over square root of n. So I'm going to go ahead and do the comparison test and compare when I put numbers in. So let's try 4. If I put in 4, well, if I put in 1, it equals each other. So we got to go bigger. Let's put in 4. If I put in 4, I get 1 over square root of 4 is 2, and this would be 1 over 4. Well, 1 half is bigger than 1 fourth. So, and if we put the 1 here, that would be 1. So um, my left side is greater than my 1 over n, and that's for all my n. Therefore, the series is divergent. Okay, the next one, we have this one. And um, uh, let's see, four, five. This series here, I can write this as six. And if we keep adding 3, basically this series here, did I write it down right? Um, let's see. Yeah, this series here is not even uh, geometric. It's arithmetic. So this series is arithmetic because it has a common difference. 
therefore uh, it's divergent. That was easy. Okay, and the next one, or the last one, is this one. And so my um, next term, my nth term, would be 2n minus 1 over, and the denominator is going to be 2 to the n plus 1. And you can check that by plugging in your little index numbers here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and um, do the ratio test. So my um, next term would be 2n plus 1 over, because I'm just plugging in n plus 1, over 2 to the little n plus 2. And when you remember you do the ratio test, you're dividing your um, next term over your current term. So R equals 2N plus 1 over 2 to the N plus 2 over 2N minus 1 over 2 to the little N plus 1. And um, I'm going to go ahead and take care of these. These are... I'm going to take care of these and rewrite it. And I didn't even do the limit, so let me do the limit. The limit as n approaches infinity, this is going to be 2n plus 1 over 2. We have two extra 2s. 2 times 2 times 2 to the n over 2n minus 1 over... We have an extra... One there, so it's going to be 2 times 2 to the n. Now I'm going to flip this around and multiply. So I'm, I'm multiplying um, these two together, and I'm multiplying those together. So we have the limit as n approaches infinity over 2n plus 1 times 2 times 2 to the n over 2 times 2 times 2 to the n times 2n minus 1. And what happens is, uh, let's see what cancels. These two cancel. Um, this cancels. And so what we have is 2n plus 1. Let me write the limit. The limit as n approaches infinity over 2n plus 1, and I'm going to go ahead and multiply this 2 here with that, and that's going to be uh, 4n minus 2. And what I'm going to do is take that, I'm going to write it again. It's going to be 2n plus 1 over 4n minus 2. Now I'm going to use the, um, the trick of dividing everything by n here so I can take the limit more easily. So I'm going to divide each term by n. And that's going to yield the limit as n approaches infinity over 2 plus 1 over n over 4 minus 2 over n. And, you know, with the limits, when you take the limit of these two, that goes to zero. So we're going to get 2 over 4, which equals 1 over half. So since absolute value of 1 over half is less than 1, this series is convergent. And that's all. Thank you, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.